With humility in his voice, he asked Amaka, Please, ma, can you spare me some food? I am really hungry. Amaka, a kind-hearted young lady, offered him a meal without hesitation. Shego arrived in the bustling city with dreams in his eyes, seeking a better life. His friend, who had initially shared a place with him, got a better job in another city and left, leaving Shego unable to renew the rent. Alone and desperate, he found himself wandering the unfamiliar streets. One day, hungry and hopeless, Shego stumbled upon Amaka's kiosk. With humility in his voice, he asked Amaka, Please, ma, can you spare me some food? I am really hungry. Amaka, a kind-hearted young lady, offered him a meal without hesitation. Grateful, Shego returned the next morning, hoping for another kind gesture. Amaka, surprised to see him waiting, asked, What's the matter? Why are you here again? Shego poured out his tale of eviction and his mother's health struggles. Listening attentively, Amaka decided to help. Wait until I finish selling today, she said. True to her word, Amaka sought the assistance of her friend Chinua, who agreed to let Shego stay with him. The next day, Chinua took Shego to a job site and Amaka occasionally contributed to Shego's well-being. The trio formed an unlikely support system for Shego. One day, as Shego spoke to his younger sister, Simi, over the phone, Amaka eavesdropped and learned about his mother's dear need for surgery. Later that evening, she handed Shego the money, saying, Travel tomorrow morning. Your mother needs you and I want to help. Overwhelmed with gratitude, Shego thanked Amaka and left. Filled with hope for his family's future, the next episode unfolds as Shego embarks on his journey to the village. After traveling to the village and ensuring his mother's surgery went well, Shego returned to Amaka's shop to express his heartfelt gratitude. Thank you so much, Amaka. Your help meant everything to my family, he said with a warm smile. Amaka, genuinely caring, inquired about his mother and sister. Shego happily shared the positive news. They are doing much better now, all thanks to you. He then asked about Amaka's business, genuinely interested in her well-being. Weeks later, Shego unexpectedly ran into Henry, an old friend in Onicha not realizing Henry was the owner of the site where he worked. Excitement filled the air as they reconnected, reminiscing about their time serving their boss at the main market in Onicha. At a nearby restaurant, over drinks, Henry pledged support, saying, Don't worry, Shego. You are like a brother to me. I have two buildings. I want you to manage everything. Consider it done. Shego overwhelmed expressed his gratitude. Eager to share the good news, Shego rushed to Amaka's shop. Her eyes light up with joy as he revealed the opportunity Henry offered. Amaka rejoiced. I'm so happy for you, Shego. Things are turning around. Shego now with a stable job didn't forget his friend Chinua. He helped him secure a position at the site before moving to a better environment. Shego and Amaka's love blossomed as they faced life side by side. One day, Shego and Henry visited Amaka and missed pleasant conversation. Amaka expressed her desire to move in with Shego at his new place. However, he asked for patience. Explaining he needed to organize things first, Henry complimented Amaka for her kindness and thanks her for supporting Shego. As the trio exchanged pleasantries and shared a meal, the story continued to unfold, filled with hope, gratitude, and the promise of a brighter future. Months passed. 
and a change crept into Shago's behavior towards Amaka. Visits became rare, calls infrequent. It turned out Shago had become involved with a wealthy lady he met months back in a restaurant, claiming Amaka wasn't his class. One day, concerned about the situation, Amaka decided to confide in Henry, Shago's friend. Henry, Shago is acting strange. He hardly visits or calls. I don't understand, she explained. Henry assured her, don't worry, I will talk to Shago. Grateful, Amaka thanked him and left it in his hands. The next day, Henry reached out to Shago, suggesting they meet and talk. Upon arriving at Shago's house, Henry found a lady about to leave. After exchanging greetings, she departed. Intrigued, Henry questioned Shago about her. Shago boldly declared, she's my girlfriend. Amaka isn't up to my standards. Henry, shocked, responded, after all Amaka did for you, you ditch her for a city lady. You are not even sure if she will stick around. Shago, marrying her doesn't guarantee a better future. Shago argued, believing the city lady offered more opportunities. Disappointed with Shago's perspective, Henry warned, Don't say I didn't warn you. Have a nice day. And with that, he left, leaving Shago to ponder the consequences of his choices. The story unfolds with the repercussions of Shago's decision on the horizon. One day, Amaka crossed paths with Shago on the road. Overcome with emotion, she rushed to him, asking him for forgiveness if she had wronged him in any way. However, Shago, embarrassed and considering Amaka beneath his standards, coldly told her to move on, claiming he had moved on. To add to the distress, a lady from a nearby hospital approached Shago and questioned who Amaka was. Dismissing Amaka as nobody, Shago instructed the lady to wait in the car. Heartbroken Amaka left, crying alone that night. Months later, the contracts at the site where Shago worked ended, and his extravagant spending on his high-maintenance girlfriend left him bankrupt. Hopeful for support, his girlfriend turned him away, leaving Shago facing hardships despite living in a grand mansion. Unknown to Shago, Henry found solace in Amaka and they eventually got married. Henry, a good man, expanded Amaka's restaurant business, fostering a happy and thriving marriage. On the flip side, Shago's life unraveled. His girlfriend, now married, kicked him out, leaving him wandering the streets of Onicha. When he reached out to his friend Henry, he laughed at Shago's misfortune and offered only a meal as help. In a restaurant, Henry and Shago sat. I warned you from the start, Henry said, shaking his head. Shago, now humbled and hungry, could only nod, realizing the consequences of his choices. The story continues with Shago at a crossroads, his fate uncertain. Shago, humbled and hungry, sat with Henry in the restaurant reflecting on the consequences of his choices. Henry, despite Shago's previous actions, decided to offer some advice. Shago, life is full of ups and downs. You have experienced both. It's time to learn from your mistakes, Henry said. His tone firm but compassionate. Shago now more receptive nodded in agreement henry continued you have the chance to rebuild but it starts with changing your mindset focus on improving yourself and making better decisions shago realizing the truth in henry's word expressed gratitude why they were still discussing amaka came into the restaurant and hugged her husband henry and Shego was so surprised about what he saw. 
Though he felt sad, but there was nothing he could do again. He just said, Amaka, please forgive me for the wrongs I have done to you. Amaka said, It's okay, I'm fine now. She left the both of them to discuss further. Henry decided to help Shego find a job to get back on his feet. They went to various places and eventually Shego secured a job at a construction site. It wasn't glamorous, but it was a fresh start. As days turned into weeks, Shego worked diligently, learning from his experiences. Henry, being the supportive friend, also offered guidance on financial responsibility and planning for the future. One day, while Shego was working at the site, he received a call. It was Amaka. She had heard about his struggles and wanted to check on him. Hesitant but grateful, Shego agreed to meet. When they met, Amaka saw a changed Shego, humbler, wiser, and focused on rebuilding his life. Shego, realizing his past mistakes, apologized to Amaka for his earlier behavior. Amaka, being the kind-hearted person she was, forgave him and offered encouragement. With Amaka's support and Henry's guidance, Shego gradually turned his life around. He saved money, learned new skills, and eventually rented a small place for himself. He rekindled his relationship with his family, expressing remorse for neglecting them during his difficult times. Amaka, now happily married to Henry, continued to run her successful restaurant business. Shego, with newfound humility and determination, visited them occasionally, expressing gratitude for the second chance at a better life. The story serves as a powerful lesson on resilience, humility, and the importance of genuine relationships. As the sun set on Shego's past mistakes, it rose on a brighter and more promising future. The most important lesson in this story is the transformative power of resilience and humility. Shego faces numerous challenges in the bustling city, from the sudden departure of his friend to the financial struggles and societal judgments. However, through resilience and humility, he learns from his mistakes, seeks forgiveness, and embraces the opportunity for personal growth. The narrative underscores the importance of adapting to adversity, learning from experiences, and recognizing the value of genuine human connection in the pursuit of a better life. Thank you for watching. Please kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.